Hello and welcome to PM Studios, small basic tutorial number 10. Today I'm going to be answering a request on video number 2 about how we can restrain user inputs to a certain range of numbers when you're using numbers. So in order to do that I'm going to be teaching you how to use while loops and I'm also going to be teaching you how to do program termination. Um, before we begin I just wanted to let you know that we are, um, there is two different ways to do the while loops that I'm going to be showing you and I will show you both ways. So just uh, just a heads up. So the first way you can do it is while num, and then here's a new uh, here's a new relation operator. This right here, the greater than and less than sign sitting right next to each other, is the does not equal command. So while number is greater than or while number does not equal zero, we're going to do text window dot right line. Please enter any number between 1 and 10. And then we're going to do a text window. Or, yeah, let's create a variable called temp. And this is going to be an integer, and it's going to be text window. Dot read number. Oops. Um, we're also going to do a uh, text window dot clear, and the reason why is the while loop is in fact a loop, hence the name. So whenever we enter a variable and it's going to go through an if statement, whenever it hits um, a specific part of the if statement, it's going to go back up to the very top of the while loop and rerun the entire thing. So we want to clear the uh, clear the palette so that they have a nice clean screen to read from. So if temp is greater than 10 or temp is less than 1 we are going to then we are going to tell them text window dot right line I'm sorry the number you have entered is invalid Please enter another. And then we're going to do a text window dot pause. And we are going to actually let's con just continue on to the else, because after they push the enter button, it will send it right back into the while loop because the if statement is completed and it has not resolved the uh, resolved the program. So else or temp, or actually else num equals temp, sorry about that, I had a brain fart, num equals temp, now we're going to do text window dot print, or write line, and we're going to write num, and then we're going to do a text window dot pause, And then we're going to do the uh, the program termination that I was talking about. So program dot end and then end the if and the while and that's the whole program. We should be able to run that. And please enter a number, any number between one and ten. If we enter zero, it's going to say that. Eleven, it's going to say that. Let's enter one. It's going to return one. And then when we push enter, it'll end the program. Just for the sake of having a cleaner screen, we can always do text window dot clear. And that will clear the screen before it returns the number. Um, that is the first way of doing it. The, uh, the second way is only a, a hair different. What we do is we get rid of the program termination. And since when you declare new variables, they're automatically set to one as the uh, the value. Um, what we want to do is we want to declare the the value above the while loop, and we want to physically set it to zero. And what that will do is it will um, it'll run the program properly in theory. <laughs> oh right, we also have to change the not equals to equals. So while num equals zero, 
it's going to run this program. So we should be able to run that, and it'll go just fine. We go one, it'll return one, and so I hope this tutorial has been helpful for all of you who are out there and wanted to learn the next step in small basic tutorials. Feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you have any more uh, requests, go ahead and put, put them in a uh, put them in a comment on any of the videos, or send me a private message, and I will get to it as soon as possible. Thank you. Have a good day.